so now uh, what we need to do is uh, after that we have this widget build and let's remove this return container alongside with the curly braces and we can simply say scaffold make sure to put a semicolon here and now let's add an app bar here app bar let's add title to it the title will be distance tracker app or you can say measurement app okay you can choose two or more than two points and it will simply dis uh, display the distance between at and then in the body of course we will show our ar view so anyways for now what we need to do is uh, we will simply add a s empty container and later on of course we will implement it but now let us just quickly implement all the required functions that are required for the measurement between two points or more than two points okay the distance you can say between two or more points so anyways the first method that we will implement is basically for adding anchor okay so after the scaffold we can say void add anchor and we will pass one parameter which will be of type arkit anchor let's give it name as anchor so we can say that if add the exclamation mark then again the parenthesis and we can say that if anchor is not ar kit plan anchor then we will simply return otherwise after the else statement we will simply add plan so let's just implement this function also add plan the return type for which will be void so first parameter will be arkit controller let us give it name as controller comma arkit anchor anchor the anchor id will be equals to anchor dot identifier plan equals to ar kit plan so first of all we will define the width for this ar plan so we can say width colon anchor dot extent dot x comma after this the height so we can say height colon anchor dot extent dot z then we can say materials AR kit material the transparency colon transparency will be 0 0.5 comma and then we can say diffuse AR kit material property and the color will be colors dot white so this was our AR kit plan and after the AR kit plan we can add the node node equals to ar kit node geometry will be plan comma position will be vector dot vector 3 anchor dot center dot x comma from y axis it will be 0 comma and then we have anchor dot center dot z axis Okay, z axis and then then comes the rotation which will be vector dot vector 4 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma minus math dot pi divided by divided by 2 I hope you can see it okay minus mat dot pi divided by 2 so then we can say 
controller dot add node comma parent node name anchor dot node name so this is to add a plan so till now we have add the uh, anchor I mean the plan for example let's say if a user start choosing points then the distance will be displaying between two points but let's say as I told you the user can choose more than two points okay let's say 5 10 50 then we have to draw distance between the different points so for that uh, we need to add another I mean implement another method which will be update anchor so just like we did the add anchor now let's after the add plan I mean down here we can simply add another function which will be for updating the anchor so you can say update anchor arkit anchor anchor and the return type for this will be nothing so void and here we can first check that if anchor dot identifier not equals to anchor id then we will simply return otherwise we will create an instance of the ar kit plan anchor the name of which will be plan anchor and we will assign the anchor to it and then we can simply say node dot position equals to vector dot vector 3 and the xyz positions using this plan anchor so we can say plan anchor dot dot center dot x comma 0 comma plan anchor dot center dot z comma after this we have to specify the width so we can say plan dot width dot value will be equals to plan anchor dot extent dot x then comes the height so we can say plan dot height dot value equals to plan anchor dot extend dot z and make sure to put a semicolon here okay not a comma when we say not dot position so now the next thing is basically which is important is basically as you know that we have yet implemented these methods but we have not yet added the click event on our plan that is when we are seeing the 3d environment the real 3d environment on using our phone camera then the user will tap on screen okay that is between two points or more than two points okay it can be any shape i mean whenever the user start tapping we will draw lines between the two points or let's say more than two points and we will display the distance on it so for that we will implement a method now so let's just minimize all these methods that we already created okay so that we can see the code more easily so anyways after this now we can create a function and we will give it name as on tap on plan tap handler and we will pass one parameter to it which will be matrix 4 and let's give it name as transform so we can say final position equals to vector dot vector 3 and we can get the transform get column 3 dot x dot y dot z okay and after it you can say final material equals to ar kit material and the lightning model name will be ar kit lightning model dot constant comma diffuse ar kit material property and the color will be color dot from rgbo 255 comma 153 comma 83 comma 1 okay which is this color this orange 
then after the AR kit material we can say final spare equals to AR kit spare radius will be this and then materials which is basically the points okay which user on the on tap we will add points on the camera I mean the uh, view which you will be seeing on your phone camera there you will see points okay when you start tapping so anyways after this AR kit spare we have to display this so we can use the AR kit node geometry will be spare which is our this AR kit spare okay round shape and then we will have the position and then we can say AR kit controller dot add not and also we have to check that if last position is not equals to null then simply start adding further points that is let's say if we have more than two points if the user start adding more than two points which simply means that is let's say a user tap one time okay so one point is added now when the user tap on some other place okay then two points then we will draw a line between these two points then let's say the user uh, tap again then it will be the third point so we will draw a line between the third point as well okay hope you understand it and you will understand it more easily when we will test the app so anyways now we can draw uh, write a code for drawing a line so we can simply say that final ar kit line okay from vector last position to vector new position okay which is the position variable which we created so anyways after this we can simply add a line node okay for the new point so we can say final line node equals to ar kit node geometry line and we can say that ar kit controller dot add for all the new nodes so you can say line node so as the two points are now added and a line has been drawn between the two points or let's say more than two points let's say three four five six points okay the line has been drawn between all these points now we have to calculate the distance and we have to display the distance on these points so that is from one point to another and from that another point to the next another point so for that we will implement a separate function so first of all here let's create a variable by the name distance equals to and we will call that function here which will return basically the distance between the points so we can call that function by the name calculate distance between points we will implement this method now okay this function and as you know we have to pass two parameters to it the first one is the position and the last the second one is the last position also we have to get the point so we can say the middle vector okay so we can say that we will also create a separate function for it which will be by the name get middle vector okay remember these names so we can say position comma last position and once we get the distance and this point we have to draw the text means to display it so we will call a function by the name draw text and then we will display the distance i mean we will pass these two parameters to that draw text function which we will implement distance comma point okay 